Good morning. Welcome to Take Me Out to the Ball Game today here on the Armchair Quarterbacks where we try to get you caught up in the world of sports in just a few minutes. All right, what do we have going on today in the world of sports? LeBron tweets something stupid again, and uh, we'll get into that here in a minute, along with all that went on in the playoffs last night. You got Major League Baseball going on. We'll get into all that, but before we do, it's the U.S. Open. It begins today, this morning at 945 Eastern, and some of your big storylines, Phil Mickelson trying to win the U.S. Open for the first time in his career at his home course in San Diego, California. Torrey Pines, Mickelson tees off at 10.51 a.m. Eastern time. Okay, other big pairings that you're going to want to pay attention to. Brooks Kepka, Marikawa, and Justin Thomas, 10.30 Eastern, or 10.29 Eastern technically. Bryson DeChambeau and Matsuyama at 4.14 Eastern. Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy, and Justin Rose, that's at 4.36 Eastern. And Jordan Spieth and Scotty Scheffler and Zalatoris, that's at 4.25 Eastern. We will uh, be reacting to this tomorrow as, remember, these are late times because it's out in California, so you're going to get some late night golf on your television set. So that's uh, that's going to be, to me, th this is the most fun when the tournaments play late. Gives you something to watch at night. If you want to uh, kind of escape from other things, like if you're not that into the NBA or whatever the case may be, this this is a this is a fun time for sports fans when they play at late at night. And I guarantee it's going to hurt the numbers for not just the NBA, but hockey. Not necessarily Major League Baseball because regular season games aren't highly affected. But when you, you know, anytime you put a major championship of golf up against hockey and basketball playoffs, it's going to hurt because your typical fan who wants to keep up with it all knows how important these next four days are compared to missing a game or two in, in the NBA. Unless you're a diehard Nets, diehard Bucks fan, you're probably going to watch the U.S. Open tonight. Okay. Other news and notes going on. LeBron James and his stupidity. Let's go ahead and hit that off. He tweeted some really dumb things. I mean, really dumb things yesterday. The short of it is he said that they didn't want to listen to me. I knew this was going to happen, talking about the injuries in the NBA because of the shortened season. And he is saying that people are missing their favorite players right now. He's including, he's, he's including himself. And I think he's underlining himself because he is trying to make the, the, the excuse that the reason why the Lakers are no longer in the playoffs is because the injuries that took place with the Lakers down the stretch with AD. AD has been injury prone his entire career. So I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but for him to insinuate that no one wants to pay attention to the NBA playoffs because he's not in it. That's disingenuous. Trey young has been phenomenal. A lot of fun to watch last night. He brought them back from the jaws of defeat. They were down 24 points at the half. He came roaring back. They win 109-106. Trey Young with 39 points. Joel Embiid and, Brett and Simmons combined for 24. If you didn't think that was an exciting game, I was locked in to like the last seven, eight minutes of that game. That game was phenomenal. I remember watching it in midway through the fourth quarter and thinking to myself, this is what I miss about the NBA. This is what I miss. This kind of this kind of heroism where you're 
you see a guy bringing a team back. You fu- every single every single possession was enormously important last night in the fourth quarter. Because when you're down by a bunch and you start trying to whittle your way back in, they're down by like 20 going into the fourth. I guess it, I guess it was more like probably uh 17 or 18, but regardless, they were down by a bundle going into the fourth. Atlanta scores 40 to win on on Philadelphia's home court. Now Atlanta has a chance to end it all tomorrow night. Also, Utah Jazz, what the hell did you do? Nothing. You let the the Clippers beat you at at home without Kawhi Leonard. The best player on the team is not playing, and you dropped the ball literally in Utah. So now they'll have to go on the road and try to pull off the upset in Los Angeles and force a game seven, which would be back in Utah. So I'm not going to say this series is over, but whoa. Because most believe that Kawhi's not going to play in game six either. And there's the jury's out on whether or not he'll be back for game seven. Big, big game. I know everyone gives him a lot of a hard time. I do. Calls himself playoff P, Paul George. Big game. He stepped up 37 points. So tonight you got the Nets and you've got Milwaukee. That's at 8.30 Eastern time. Also, going on through the National Hockey League. Everyone thought this series was dead. They're they're pouring, pouring the dirt on them. The Habs, they shock everybody and win in Vegas. Series tied one apiece, heading back to Montreal. Tonight. One game games are tied one apiece. Tampa Bay heads to the New York Islanders. This should be a lot of fun. Series tied one, one eight o'clock Eastern. Let's get it rolling. I'm excited. Cannot wait for this game. I'm going to have that, that on one device. And then the U S open on another. And then obviously I'll be paying attention to, to major league baseball as I always do, but I'm looking forward to this series specifically tonight's game because the winner of this game takes control of the series. And of course, Friday night, Vegas will be in Montreal. So you got that major league baseball real quick, get you caught up on what happened yesterday and what's going down today. The, the Cardinals won in walk-off fashion. They win one, nothing as uh, they, they beat the, the Miami Marlins who got a great start by the way, from Alcantara. Eight and a third, what, seven Ks. Great start. The Tigers came back and beat Kansas City, scoring three in the seventh, one in the eighth, one in the ninth. They win 6-5. Big news out of this, Brady Singer came out of the game of an injury. We'll see. We'll get more information on that. Tyler Mayle outpitched Freddie Peralta. What a game that was. Two to one. Male, six innings, one earned run in 12 Ks. Peralta, seven, two earned runs in six Ks. Incredibly pitch, pitch game. And the Tampa Bay Rays, White Sox, that was probably the best game of the day. That game took place uh, mid-afternoon, and the White Sox walked it off. And then, of course, a couple other games that went on last night, if you missed it. The Braves lose to the Red Sox 10 to eight really entertaining offensive game. Uh, Basically the Braves bullpen bullpen imploded. Shane, Shane green has not been the same since coming back from free agency. They got to figure out with him what they're going to do. And uh, AJ mentor gave up a huge grand slam. He didn't load the bases. He had two strikes. He had a one, two count on, and gives up a grand salami, lays it right over the plate. He's been doing that way too much recently. So though he's not going to get credit for all four runs, we all know, dude, when you get two strikes, he had an 0-2 counter. You get an 0-2 counter on a guy, and you give up a grand slam, that's squarely on you, and I'm sure he would say the same thing. Last night, Zach Wheeler pitched a gem in L.A., Phillies knock out the Dodgers two to nothing. And one last game that we'll throw at you. Uh, the 
San Francisco Giants continue Arizona's winless streak as they beat the Diamondbacks 13 to 7. Okay, today, that series, by the way, concludes today. Arizona's at San Francisco. Zach Gallon's going to take the mound coming off the IL going up against Galsman. That is a if you're looking for a good game to pay attention to today, mid-afternoon, Arizona, San Francisco, that should be a pitcher's duel. Yankees finish off their series with Toronto tonight. And the Mets and Cubs, they're going to finish theirs off today. And the Mets and Cubs, Stroman versus Hendricks. I mean, the Cubs got to get off the mat. You can't get swept, but it's a tough task. Stroman's got a 2 3 3 ERA. Also, tonight, Braves, Cardinals, they start their series. Gant versus Morton and White Sox Astros. That begins. Cease versus your quitting. That should be a really fun one. Okay. That'll about do us for today. Try to make this uh, shorter and shorter as we go. And, uh, Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and share. We got a ton of shows on this channel trying to keep you up to date for taking out to the ball game, take me out to the ball game today and the armchair quarterbacks. I am Mac McGee. We will see you tomorrow about this same time. <laughs>